We are in Montana and we are headed towards Bozeman. We've been to Bozeman several times in the last few years. It's one of our favorite places to hang out. And their epic beer scene makes it even better. If you're new around here, I'm Sam and this is my husband, Chris. In our last video, we spent an epic week hiking and drinking in Banff National Park in Canada. We packed up our RV and drove nine hours south to Bozeman, Montana. This is my favorite brewery in the country, and I know it's a bold statement, but when we were here the first time in 2020 and then 2021, I was just absolutely blown away by their beers. This one is my absolute favorite. It is called Mountains Walking. It's here in Bozeman, and I am so excited. We're gonna go get some beer. I need to explain why this is our favorite brewery. I will not speak for Chris. He can say whether or not it's his favorite. But no matter the beer, it's so good. Like I got two sours and he got an IPA and a pale ale and it was just awesome. And that's why we love this place. No matter which beer we get, we can always drink it. Chris asked me to share a pizza with him and I am selfish and I also wanted lunch tomorrow. So we got our own. He doesn't seem too mad about it. He hasn't really said anything in the five minutes been in front of him. I got the mommy bomb and it was salami, mushrooms, artichokes, it had a garlic oil base. It was phenomenal. Chris got something spicy that I wanted. Spicy chicken. It was just as magical as I remember and I even got a t-shirt which I never do but oh it's just so good. The pizza was good, the beer was good. It was phenomenal. It was so good. Meanwhile, in Montana, if you can see this incredible thunderstorm here, I mean, it's summer, but it's pretty normal. We are actually walking directly behind mountains walking to Bozeman Brewing. Beautiful blue sky, massive thunderstorm. So we're gonna go get some beers and hang out. In their quaint tap room, Bozeman's Brewing offers 20 beers to drink, ranging from classic style amber ales to one of their craft barrel sours. They actually have the largest production of sours in the state of Montana. Located about 10 minutes from downtown, you'll find the family owned Dry Hills Distillery. All of their products are sourced off the family farm, creating a true Montana farm to bottle product, including several variants of vodka, gin, and whiskey. They have a massive tasting room where we enjoyed some delicious cocktails. The first I went to Bunkhouse Brewing, it was actually closer to campus. They have since opened a much larger location on the western side of town, which is where we're about to go. Good morning. Good morning. We are walking to the main street here in Bozeman to go to one of our favorite brunch places. I'm gonna say in the country, one of our favorites. Yeah. You agree? Yeah, no, we've been a couple times uh, in our travels back to Bozeman. Oh, tree. Always one, <laughs> always one of our first stops. We actually are going early because they do get very busy. Very much looking forward to it. So the cool thing about this place, maybe I shouldn't tell you guys, maybe we'll just surprise you. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave you with this. Eggs Benedict Flight. Always online. I got the Eggs Benedict Flight, and even though I've kind of busted into them, I still want to share. So I got the basic Benny, which everyone knows, but I also got the Mia Benny and the chicken bunny. We are definitely gonna come back to this place it's called Plonk. It's a great little wine bar here. They're not open, obviously, it's super early, but it's one of our favorites and they have a kick butt charcuterie board. 
Located a few blocks away, Shred Monk Brewing is one of the newer breweries in town. A small but mighty tap list, grab yourself a pint and enjoy the weather from their patio. Conveniently located right next door, we stop by Bozeman Spirits. They produce Montana whiskey, vodka, huckleberry vodka, gin, rum, and even agave. We sat at the bar and drank some very yummy cocktails. We've gone shopping. We've got all these great little souvenirs and knickknacks and even some Christmas gifts because yeah. we are that forward thinking this year. Bozeman's great. The downtown on Main Street, you can just bar hop, job hop. This place is hopping too. It's a beautiful day, perfect day for shopping, just walking around town. Having worked up an appetite, we decided to pop into Shine Beer Sanctuary. Located inside, Lapa Grill and Soup Shack served yummy burritos, street tacos, soups, and salads. With 30 rotating beer taps and wine taps, you can grab a pint or a flight of local and regional beers. I must really like burritos because this morning I had a breakfast burrito and today a deconstructed burrito in a pole. I got one chicken and one beef taco and I'm washing it down with a pilsner from Outlaw Brewing. After our late lunch, we strolled around a bit more before walking home for the evening. Map has one of the best views here in Bozeman. Highly suggest coming out, even if it's just for a drink, just to come sit out and enjoy the mountains. Map Brewing offers a large outdoorsy field tap room and a patio with stunning views of the Bridger Mountain Range in the distance. Grab yourself a pint and drink in the views. For last in Bozeman, two new breweries have opened called Last Best Place Brewing and Free Fall Brewing. If we're being honest, we didn't enjoy the beers at these two stops, but we always encourage you to go try it for yourself so that you can make your own opinion. We are just leaving Free Fall Brewing behind us. And right next door is a barbecue place, so I think we're gonna grab a pound of pulled pork. We're just gonna go home and make nachos. Where are your sunglasses? What? Where are your sunglasses? The sun's behind me. He always sneezes when the it sun suns. When it suns, I said he always sneezes when it suns. <laughs> this is why we were walking. Cool thing out those minutes, you can walk everywhere. We really like it, especially where we're parked. We got some pulled pork, and I am definitely going to make the- You going ham on it? Ow. No, I'm not, no, it's pulled pork, you don't go. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> the trick to good nachos is the layering. I won't get into how to make nachos. You guys could do that. So look at this pork. Look at that. Blank canvas, here we go. Beautiful. It is the weekend. Friday. So we are going downtown Bozeman to get some drinks. We love Bozeman and where we're staying, it's just so walkable and the weather is absolutely gorgeous this time of year. So we are off to go save some grapes that are trapped in a bottle. Plonk is one of our favorite wine bars here in Bozeman. They have a really great wine list, beer list, and they have some awesome craft cocktails. We came for happy hour, which has incredible little plates that you can share. I got Prosecco because I'm feeling it today, and Chris got something spicy I can't possibly drink. Not Your Mama's Cosmo, which is a local vodka here from Wild Rye. Lime juice, Aperol, simple syrup, and soda water. Chris just grabbed a classic old fashioned to sip during their happy hour. Just left. Jay and company, great cocktails. Highly suggest them for happy hour. Yeah, great. yeah. Yep. awesome prices, phenomenal cocktails. We are heading to stop number three tonight, Copper Bar. Copper Bar. Copper Whiskey bar. bar. Yeah, Whiskey Bar, we're doing it. 
Hopper Whiskey has a speakeasy vibe and offers whiskey for every occasion, which is sure to impress both a novice and a serious whiskey lover. We highly suggest popping down for their happy hour. That's delectable. If you've never had cheese curds, grab some on their happy hour. You won't be sorry. Unprovoked, we just got handed shots of cinnamon whiskey. Ready? Fireball. It's, it's not fireball. It's not fireball. It's homemade cinnamon homemade. whiskey. Oh, that was delicious. Much, much better than fireball. <laughs> so much better than fireball. Sexy toothpick you got there, cowboy. Yeah. So, one thing about that place, it's downstairs, so you cannot tell what time it is. It's like going to a casino or a movie theater. Sitting outside, it is still light outside. There's a very small puppy right behind us. <laughs> We normally don't visit chains. We had to visit Pita Pit, and you'll find out why in a second. If y'all went to college on the East Coast, I can't do that the West Coast. I grew up in college with Pita Pit. This was like my 4 a.m. I needed something delicious. You grew up in college? Shut up, Christopher. You also like Pita Pit from college? I did, well, I didn't have it in college, but. Yeah. What? Really? That's depressing. Yeah. They used to deliver to my dorm at 4 a.m. Actually, yes, past 4 a.m. This is the best thing in the world. I don't know where everyone went to college, but that was the best thing about college. 4 a.m. Eat a pit. Look at it. It's like bars are this way. Hallelujah. Like a sign from the gods, we found one more bar to pop into for the evening. This might be the most fun I've ever had looking at a ceiling in my entire life. I think that's the 92 Dream Team because Larry Bird's on it. Magic Johnson's in it. John Stockton's shorts are so very short. Oh, this is great. We made it home. It is an absolutely gorgeous sunset. In Alaska, there was no sunset. We're still adjusting after 10 weeks there. Hey there, kitty cat. Up next, we're heading to Billings, Montana, about two and a half hours from Bozeman. We are going to be working for our wine while we do an annual grape stomp. If you're looking for more Bozeman content, we have a ton on our blog. Head over to boozingabroad.com or check out the link below. Oh, no, you go. You go. Oh, it's in my face. Oh, God, that's awful. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like.